Okay, refraction in a prism. Why do we get splitting up a light the way we do? So, here's our prism. Now, normally our prisms are glass or perspex, and the medium on the outside is air. Now, what happens is light travels into our prism, like that. There's our ray line. And if we imagine, here's my car again, we're going to use the car for refraction. At this point here, where the light changes from one medium into the other, we need to draw our normal line, and the normal line is always at a right angle to the surface we're entering. So what we get here is, as this car drives in, which wheel hits the glass first? Well, it's going to be this wheel on this bottom side, which means this wheel here slows down before this wheel here, which means in one second the wheel on this side will travel further than the one here. That will mean it's going to change direction in that, that way there. It's going to bend towards the normal, so this ray line is going to come out here like this. Let's label our instant angle and our angle of refraction here. So it comes down to this point here and again I draw my, right my normal at a right angle to the surface. There it is. Now what happens? This ray line comes down like this. The top wheel now is going to come out first. Now the, it's going to travel faster in the air than it does in the glass. So this top wheel is going to go f further in one second than the bottom wheel here which is going to meet, mean it bends even further down this way and we end up with, and we end up with that if we label our angle of incidence and angle of refraction we can see it's bent away from the normal now what happens is different colors of light bend by different amounts so this prism here this glass prism is able to split the light up into the colors of the rainbow